In this demo, we will show how we can set up NetBiter Argos to enable remote access. Remote access enables service technicians or PLC programmers to configure a PLC or machine remotely. Here's how it works. A NetBiter gateway is connected to the PLC in the remote location. The gateway enables a secure tunnel between the PLC and your computer via Ethernet or a cellular network, so you can do debugging or commissioning from any location. The NetBiter gateways can be connected to most PLCs on the market using the same procedure. The secure tunnel is set up via the NetBiter Argos data center, which we will access to set up this connection. Before you start setting up a remote access connection with NetBiter, there are three IP addresses you need to know. First, the IP address of your PLC on the local network. Second, the IP address you want the NetBiter to have on the local network. And third, the IP address you want your computer to have on the local network. You specify the last two yourself, so you need to know that there is no other device on the network with these addresses. So, with my new NetBiter gateway connected to my PLC, I can start setting up the remote connection, which I do on netbiter.net. Since this is the first time I use NetBiter, I select Create an account and enter the system ID and activation code, which I received with my NetBiter gateway. I also fill in my desired account name and password, followed by my personal information such as name, company, email, etc. I click Register and look for the activation email from NetBiter Argos. Inside this email is a link, which I click to activate my account. My account is now activated and ready to use, and I can log in to my new account with the information I entered previously. I am now inside NetBiter Argos. Here I am presented with two choices. These are two different ways that NetBiter can operate. View and control means that I can monitor a device online. Remote access means opening up a secure tunnel to program or configure a PLC or machine. I can switch mode at any time later on, but for the sake of this demo I select Remote Access and click Activate. I first go to the Configuration tab where I can configure how I want the connection to work between my PC and the PLC in the remote location. This requires some explanation. The NetBiter gateway establishes a network bridge between the local area network that the PLC is situated in and the Internet to which my PC is connected. On the Internet, the NetBiter gateway is assigned an IP address automatically. I do not need to know this. However, I do need to specify which IP address the NetBiter gateway should have on the remote local area network. For the sake of this demo, we'll use the example 192.168.0.21, since I know that this address is available. Later on, I also need to specify an IP address for my PC, which it will have as it tunnels into the local area network. This is done by the PLC programmers, as they connect their PCs to the NetBiter gateway. So here's what I need to do inside NetBiter Argos to enable the connection. First, I need to turn on Allow the use of Network Bridge, so I can create a connection to the remote local area network. I also need to enter some details regarding the LAN configuration. This can be configured in different ways, but in this example we'll choose to manually set a fixed IP address and netmask. As mentioned earlier, I want my NetBiter to have the IP address 192.168.0.21, since I know that this address is available and I also need to enter my netmask. I click Save and then go up to Synchronize Configuration and it is saved to the NetBiter in the remote location. As an administrator, this is all I need to do inside NetBiter Argos to enable the remote access functionality. The next step is to allow PLC programmers to access their PLCs to do programming from any location. To do that, they will use the NetBiter Quick Connect software, which is a software that they can install on their computer to access the PLC with a regular PLC configuration software. The Quick Connect software can be downloaded under the Overview tab or on netbiter.com.